The International Building Code requires most doors and buildings addressed by the IBC to meet the accessibility requirements. The most commonly used accessibility standards in the United States are ICC A117.1, Accessible and Usable Buildings and Facilities, and the ADA Standards for Accessible Design. Most multifamily residential buildings are required to comply with the Fair Housing Act. States or local jurisdictions may have their own accessibility standards as well. ICC A117.1 and the ADA standards include most of the requirements related to door openings in Chapter 4, with separate sections for manual doors and automatic doors. These requirements also apply to gates that are a part of an accessible route. Here are some of the important requirements of those sections for manual doors. Doors on an accessible route are required to provide at least 32 inches of clear opening width. With the door open to the 90 degree position, the clear opening width is measured between the face of the door and the stop on the strike jam of the frame. For pairs of doors, at least one leaf must provide 32 inches of clear opening width minimum, measured from the face of an active leaf in the 90 degree position to the edge of the other leaf in the closed position or to the mullion. The minimum clear opening height is 80 inches, with a minimum height of 78 inches measured to the door closers and door stops. No projections into the required clear opening width are allowed below 34 inches above the finished floor or ground. Projections into the clear opening width between 34 and 80 inches are limited to 4 inches. To operate a manual door, someone using a wheelchair will require maneuvering, clearance, in order to open the door and pass through. Consult the accessibility standards for specific requirements related to maneuvering clearance, doors in a recess, and doors in a series. Most thresholds are limited to one half inch in height, with a slope not steeper than one to two. Changes in level up to one quarter inch may be vertical. Changes in level over one half inch must have a ramp with a slope not steeper than one to 12. Hardware must be operable with one hand, with no tight grasping, pinching, or twisting of the wrist. Lever handles meet this requirement. Knobs do not. The 2010 ADA standards also require hardware to operate with a maximum of five pounds of force. The 2017 edition of ICC A117.1 limits the operable force to 15 pounds with a pushing or pulling motion, and 28 inch pounds for rotational motion. In most cases, operable hardware must be mounted between 34 inches and 48 inches above the finished floor or ground. The closing speed of a door with a door closer must be a minimum of five seconds to close from a position of 90 degrees to 12 degrees. For doors with spring hinges, the door must move from a position of 70 degrees to the closed position in 1.5 seconds minimum. After the latch is disengaged, the force to push or pull open an interior door is limited to five pounds maximum, with the exception of fire doors. This applies to interior swinging, sliding, and folding doors. Fire doors must have the minimum force required to reliably close and latch the door. Opening force for exterior doors may be addressed by the state or local jurisdiction or by the applicable building code. A manual door on an accessible route must have a flush, smooth surface at the bottom on the push side, with no projections or protruding hardware that could catch a cane, crutch, or wheelchair foot pad. This is measured from the finished floor 10 inches up the face of the door and must extend across the full width of the door. Horizontal or vertical joints must be within 1 16th inch of the same plane. If a kick plate is added to extend the height of a narrow bottom rail, the cavity between the kick plate and the glass must be capped. Refer to the standards for exceptions related to sliding doors, some all glass doors, and doors that do not extend to within 10 inches of the floor or ground. The accessibility standards do not require doors on an accessible route to have vision lights. But if a door has a vision panel or side light, at least one light must be located with the bottom of the light no more than 43 inches above the finished floor. The exception to this requirement is when the light is located more than 66 inches above the floor. These lights are typically for light transmission and not for viewing, and are acceptable. Automatic doors are not specifically required by the accessibility standards, but doors equipped with low energy automatic operators and power assist operators must meet the requirements of ANSI BHMA A156.19 
and full-powered operators must meet the requirements of ANSI BHMA A156.10. In addition, automatic doors are required to meet some, but not all, of the requirements for manual doors. For detailed information about accessibility requirements for door openings, refer to the Accessibility Standards or download the Allegiant Code Reference Guide at idighardware.com guide. To watch more videos, visit our training page at www.allegion.com slash US.